The virtual Republican and Democratic national conventions are now over. Each night, the parties focused on themes and messages that they want to emphasize in the 2020 election, often using very different words to get their message across. One issue mentioned frequently by both conventions was the coronavirus. But while Republicans were more interested in talking about what the economy was like before the virus, Democrats cast the issue as an example of President Trump's failed leadership. We'll never have our lives back until we deal with this virus. Joe Biden's plan is not a solution to the virus, but rather it's a surrender. Democrats were also much more likely to invoke words like democracy. Do not let them take away your democracy. Character is on the ballot. Compassion is on the ballot. Decency, science, democracy, they're all on the ballot. Republicans also sought to elevate scenes of unrest across the country. They will defund, dismantle, and destroy America's law enforcement. There's looting, chaos, destruction. The Democrats have brought us nothing but destruction. Republicans were focused on arguing that Joe Biden would be a conduit for more extreme elements in his party. In fact, they used the word radical 54 times and some version of socialist or communist 53 times. Joe Biden would set America on a path of socialism. Biden is a Trojan horse for socialism. That sounds a lot like communist China to me. One of the biggest disparities was on China, which came up more than 100 times at the Republican National Convention and only a handful of times at the Democratic. Joe Biden is good for Iran and ISIS. Great for communist China. Joe Biden's done more than look the other way on China. Joe Biden aided and abetted China's rise for 50 years. Abortion was much more of a focal point at the Republican National Convention. Donald Trump is the most pro-life president that this nation has ever had. The Biden-Harris ticket is the most radically pro-abortion campaign in history. I know what abortion smells like. Did you know abortion even had a smell? Democrats, meanwhile, didn't say abortion once. The injustice in reproductive and maternal health care. One of the most concerted efforts of this week was Republicans featuring lots of black speakers, despite Trump having very little support among this community. Republicans mentioned the word black or African-American 80 times, compared to 24 for the Democrats. The racist dog whistling. The horrors of systemic racism. America is not a racist country. The Democratic Party does not want black people to leave their mental plantation. While there was significant focus on black voters, one topic that didn't come up very much was Latino and Hispanic voters. Democrats mentioned those words only seven times, while Republicans mentioned them only twice.